don't want to see it turn into a, a dust bowl legacy like some of the Olympic assets in places like Athens or Rio, for example, where they just have been forgotten and you know, full of tumbleweed. G'day, welcome back to the channel. I've taken my EM10 Mark II out and I'm trying the Panasonic 25mm 1.7 again. <laughs> I had some focus issues last time but I thought I might try wider angles today. I won't run into the same back focusing issues as last time. Hi oh, hey, Jerry, it gets too hot. Oh. This way. So it's been 23 years since the Olympics. <laughs> and the place is a little bit dead. Now the place does look dead and it probably is most weekends uh, but there are events still that happen and there's big stadium football and concerts that still go on here. It's just that it looks bare and deserted because it's so massive. <laughs> the whole area was meant to accommodate so many people and it's just way too big now for the population that we um, currently have. But believe it or not, by the year 2000, this land, about 650 hectares altogether, will have been transformed into one of the most sophisticated sporting venues that's ever been built. Every city that's put on the Olympic Games has faced problems with what to do afterwards. Yeah, that everything here is, is too big, it's too spread out, the stadium, it's too big for the type of sports we, we play. It doesn't have the atmosphere. And... The five bidding cities, Beijing, Berlin, Istanbul, Manchester, and Sydney. We really regret that there is only one winner. And the winner is Sydney. The railway station is, for the most part, just a spur line from Lidcombe and it's not really bringing many people in uh, on a regular basis. The scale of the place, in one sense, is the enemy of place making. So, to try and make intimate spaces and you know, people-focused spaces. Just the, the sheer scale of what was created to get the volumes of people in and out make that a retrofitting challenge. I think that the great thing about it is the park and the Millennium Parklands have been truly loved I think by the people of Western Sydney and, and they before the COVID crisis the intensity of use that came on weekends and so forth. So 
the edits for these were a little bit more pastel, lighter colours. I was trying to do less um, saturation, which I'm finding I'm doing a little bit too much saturation in my photos. And I'm liking the, you know, the softer pastel type of colours that come with it. I'm using Luminar Neo, Photo Lab 5 and Luminar 4. Here's a photo that shows that the Panasonic still misses by a smidge back focusing. The Panasonic 1.7 25mm. It's still a good lens, it's just that if you want to get critical focus, uh, it's not going to work. So, But for wide angle, it's, it's okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll catch you on the next one.